So please feel free to start from either a seated or lying down position. If you are in a seated position, you might like to sit on something like yoga blocks or pillow or blanket rolled up. If you're lying down, we're gonna be lying down for a little bit or, or in this seated position for a little bit. So if you are lying down, you might like to make some adjustments to that. You may prefer to have something behind your head so your head is not directly on the hard floor. You might prefer to have your uh, knees bent instead of your legs long on the mat. So please make accommodations for yourself so that you're feeling comfortable when you're feeling uncomfortable, it's difficult to receive because you're too uncomfortable, <laughs> right? And tonight, it's all about bringing stuff in, bringing stuff in. And as you bring things in, whatever those things, and I say things, but I mean, you know, it could be love, it could be money, it could be joy, it could be peace, it could be health, whatever it is that you want to bring into your sphere, yourself. You might, you might notice that as things come in, the things that you don't really want and don't really need naturally kind of slip away. So if you haven't already, allow your eyes to close or your gaze to soften down. Notice that there is sound and movement, vibration. There might be smell, like maybe there's something cooking somewhere or whatever. Um, just notice everything that's around you. And it's not anything that you need to push away, right? Just notice it. You might see that it's a sound, you might see that it's a, a light or whatever it is. Notice it, name it, sound, movement, vibration. And then bring your attention to your breath. So each time you notice anything that takes you away from your breathing, takes you away from the purpose of your practice today, just notice it, name it, and return your attention back to your breath. And then from this space, make any small movements that you need to. You might do some shrugging of the shoulders. You might turn your head from one side to the other. You might do like a little kind of cow and cat movement from a lying down or seated position. You might rotate at the spine. You might move your fingers. Whatever it is that's kind of calling to you. Take like another three or four breaths as you make some small movements. And then from this space, really centered, really grounded. So whether you're lying down or sitting down, get a sense of feeling the uh, seat, feeling the floor, whatever it is, and letting that be your foundation, your, your home base, if you will. Breathing in and breathing out. Holding here. Start now to deepen your breath. Take longer to inhale and longer to exhale. And as you take longer to inhale, notice if your shoulders kind of creep up towards your ears when you breathe in. Them relax as you exhale, soften them down. Long inhales through the nose if possible, and long exhales also through the nose if possible. But if you'd like to open your mouth and move the jaw around, that's fine. Breathing in, breathing out. So, as I mentioned before, Tonight's practice and meditations all about manifesting abundance and shifting our thinking to a space where we're more open to receive and we can release and let go of things that we don't need or no longer serve us or simply just aren't great for us. 
So take this next couple of breaths to start thinking. Don't go too far into the thinking space. Just let one of the first few things come to your mind and let that be part of your intention this evening. Breathing in and breathing out. I'll begin with the sound of Om chanting three times. Please chant along if you'd like to, or just listen and take a deep breath in. Om. Om. If you're lying down, hug your knees in towards your chest and come to join us in a seated position. And please feel free to sit up on blocks, blanket, pillow, anything that feels a little supportive underneath your seat. Once you're there, take a deep breath in, lengthen from the very base of your seat up towards the top of your head. And as you exhale, just let your chin drop down in the direction of your collarbone. And as you hold there and breathe, notice the sensation going down from the back of your ears, down the back of the neck, in towards your shoulders and in between the shoulder blades. Breathing in and breathing out. Inhaling. And as you exhale, start to lift your chin and breathe in and breathe out as you continue to lift your chin upwards until you feel a pulling going down from the sides of your chin down the front of the throat towards your collarbone just going as far up with that chin as feels comfortable and interesting for you without kind of cutting off your oxygen <laughs> hold here breathe here Soften the shoulders as you exhale and keep the chin lifted, taking one more breath. And then as you exhale, bring your chin back to the center. Inhale to grow a little taller. And as you exhale, turn your chin to the right side. And please feel free to continue this practice right now with your eyes closed if you'd like. As you hold here and breathe here, Notice sensations on the right side of the neck and different sensations along the left side of the neck. Breathing in and breathing out. Slowly rotate now to the other side, letting your chin turn to the left. And it may feel very similar or there may be some differences from one side to the other. Holding here, breathing here. And as you exhale, come back into the center. Let your right ear tilt towards your right shoulder and notice if your right shoulder has sort of crept up. We want to, once again, just let the shoulders be soft, let the eyes be soft, the muscles of the face be soft. Come back into the center and let your left ear tilt towards your left side. Holding here, breathing here. Taking another breath. And as you exhale, coming back into the center, bring your arms alongside your body and inhale to lift the arms up, gazing upwards or just lifting your chin if your eyes are closed and take the whole exhale to bring the arms back by your side. So no rush to this, inhaling to lift the arms out and up. Exhale bringing the arms back by your side. And one more time, inhaling to lift. And as you lift, once the hands get over your head, interlace your fingertips. And let your, fing your um, first two fingers point up towards the ceiling. 
bring your arms close to alongside your ears as you press down with your seat into your floor or into the blocks or blanket, but point those fingertips up. Hold here. Try to keep your ribs in line with your hips. So drawing the ribs in towards you. Holding here, breathing here, beginning to feel a little sensation, a little um, challenge. As you exhale, bend your elbows and turn those interlaced fists, interlaced fingertips up towards the ceiling. So with your elbows pretty bent, begin to circle overhead. Breathing in for your halo pose and breathing out. And still here, trying to keep those ribs in line with the hips, begin to go in the other direction. Trying to keep those hands just above the top of your head. Try to keep the back of your head reaching back while your chin is still parallel to the floor and the ceiling. Inhale, lift the arms back up. And as you exhale, bring the arms back by your side. If you're sitting on something, go ahead and move that off to the side now. Change the cross of your legs or bring your legs out in front of you if your cross legs feel like it's not so comfortable. Inhale, lift the arms up, gaze upwards. And as you exhale, float your right hand down. Start to walk the right fingertips out to the side and bend your right elbow and lift the left arm up and reach into the right side. See if you can keep your left knee reaching downward towards the floor. Make sure that you're bending that right elbow enough that you're keeping the shoulder from coming up towards your ear. Press your sitting bones into the floor. Imagine that you're leaning back against a wall. Breathe into the left side of your body. As you exhale, come back to center. Inhale, lift both arms back out and up. And exhale, bring the left hand down to the floor. Start to walk out to the side as you begin to reach over with that right arm, directing your breath into the right side of the body, keeping both sitting bones down. Leaning back, holding here, creating space between the left ear and the left shoulder. Taking one more breath here and exhale, coming back into the center. Inhale, lift both arms back out and up. And as you exhale, float your hands forward. And if your feet are out, in front of you, then you just bring your hands um, in between the uh, knees on the floor. Or if you have your legs crossed, bring it over the cross legs. Direct your breath into the back of your body. And as you exhale, round and walk your fingertips further forward. And how far forward you go is really up to you. Hold here, breathe here. If you still have more space to explore walking forward, please do. Um, when you get to where you want to go, tent your fingers. So lift up the center of your finger, uh, center of your hands as you press your fingertips into the floor. Direct your breath into the underarm and then exhale and maybe add a gentle rocking movement at the head or nod your head gently from side to side, up and down. Whatever feels good, breathing in. And as you exhale, walk your hands back towards you, either with your legs out long or still in your crossed legs, bring your hands behind you and press the heel of the hand into the floor as you turn your fingertips out to the side. Bend your elbows slightly, but firmly press the floor away. Keep your ribs in line with your hips, but try to lift up from your collarbone. Keep your chin parallel to the floor and ceiling, holding here, breathing here. Take one more breath. And as you exhale, release 
and come to find your way into table. So hands underneath the shoulders on the floor, knees underneath the hips on the floor, and begin to do a few cow and cat. If you have anything going on with the lower back, then just do cow and neutral or cow and cat. So inhale for your cow and exhale into your cat or into neutral. Once again, eyes could be closed as you explore movement in the spine. Add some other things. You might like to rock the hips gently from side to side. You might like to flare your ribs from side to side. You might like to look over one side of your body to the side and then other side. Good. And then from here, let's walk the fingertips forward, tuck the toes under and lift up into a down dog. And for now, let's hold down dog, bending the knees slightly and reaching the seat up and back, getting lots of length in the shoulders Shake the head gently, nod the head gently. Hold here, breathe here. Inhale and come forward to plank, top of the push up. And as you exhale, drop your knees to the floor and sit back into a closed knee child's pose, reaching the seat back and keeping those fingertips way in front of you. Take a deep breath into the under arm of the and then as you exhale, walk your fingertips back towards your knees. Inhale and lift up into Bali pose. So tucking the toes under, reaching the thumbs back. Hold here, breathe here. Try to keep your ribs in line with the hips. And then as you exhale, find your way all the way to downward facing dog. Bend those knees a little, reach the seat up and back. Inhale and come forward to plank. Exhale, child's pose. One big breath here. Exhale, walk the hands back towards your knees. Inhale, lift up to Bali. Reach the thumbs back. Exhale all the way to downward facing dog. And one more time, inhaling, coming forward to plank. Exhale, child's pose. One big breath. Exhale, walk the hands back towards the knees. Inhale, up to Bali. Exhale, downward facing dog. Start to pedal your feet all the way to the front of the mat. And as you move along, grab your yoga blocks and bring them to the front of your mat. Coming into this forward fold, give yourself some space between your feet, one or two fist distance. Let the top of your head reach down in between your feet as much as possible. Knees can absolutely be bent. Take a deep breath here. And as you exhale, slowly roll up through a rounded spine, letting head and shoulders be the last thing to arrive. Inhale, lift arms out and up. Exhale, swan dive over the legs. Having your hands on blocks, inhale to step the left foot back. Find your right ankle directly underneath your right knee. And then inhale to lift the right arm out and up for a low lunge twist. Breath in, breath out. Breath in. Breath out one more and stack that right arm over the left. And as you exhale, bring the right hand down, both hands on blocks, maybe on the higher height, as you begin to straighten through your right leg. Hold here, let your left heel draw closer to the floor. Breathe into the back of your body. And as you exhale, bend, uh, bow forward, bending your elbows and draw your nose closer to your right knee. Shake the head gently, nod the head gently, open the mouth, move the jaw around. 
Inhale, re-bend that right knee and move your blocks forward. Step your left foot forward. Inhale to a flat back. So lift your hands up the thighs just above the knees and lengthen the spine. And exhale, release back down. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way out and lift up. And exhale, bring your arms back by your side. Inhale to lift arms out and up. And exhale, swan dive over the legs. Inhale to step the right foot back. Right hand comes on to a block. Inhale to lift the left arm out and up. Notice if your left knee sort of travels out to the left side, walk your left foot a little wider so you can hug the left knee towards the midline. Breathing in. Exhale, bring the left hand back down. Both hands can come onto blocks here as you begin to straighten through the left leg, reaching the seat back, traveling the right heel closer to the floor, breathing in to lengthen. And as you exhale, drawing your nose closer to your knee. Add some gentle rocking movement at the neck. Open the mouth, move the jaw around. Make sure you're staying present with the breath. Inhale, re-bend that left knee. Move the box to the side and step the right foot forward. Inhale and lift up, pressing your hands into the thigh as you reach your seat back. And exhale and release. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way out and up. Imagine that you could gather all the stars in the sky and then exhale, bring that all into the center of your chest. Press your hands into the front of your heart. Imagine that you're bringing all of that abundance of stars right into the center of your chest. Inhale, lift the arms out and up. Exhale, swan dive over the legs. Inhale to step your right foot back. And exhale to downward facing dog. Inhale, come forward to plank. And as you exhale, bring your knees almost as wide as your yoga mat and come into a wide knee child's pose. Let your chest sink down into the floor your chin or your forehead to the floor. And checking in with what you need in your body. Do you want to get the stretch in the shoulders and down into the lateral muscles of your spine? Then your hands are gonna stay out and reach towards the top of your yoga mat. If you want something more restorative, bring your hands underneath your forehead with your elbows out to the side as you let your chest sink down towards the floor or bring your hands behind you and let your shoulders just soften into the floor. Whatever it is that you need, follow your need. Start to walk your hands back towards you, rolling up to sit on your heels. And slide your feet out in front of you as you come to sit facing forward. And then from here, we're going to take our blocks, one right next to the other, on the short end, side to side. And if you have a blank blanket, towel, I'm going to fold it so that it's fairly thick kind of cushiony, and put that on top of the yoga box, okay? Move that off to the side for later use, and slide your left leg over your right leg, and take that left knee out to the side. Shift your right shin so it's more parallel to the front of your mat and flex your right foot. Slide your handmade bolster forward, 
and come to uh, bring your arms just outside the edges of the yoga blocks and turn your head to the left as you come into this supported variation of uh, pigeon pose. Holding here and breathing here. And as you hold here, bring back to your attention, your awareness, some of the things that you were considering that you'd like to draw in. What do you want an abundance of? If you'd like to turn your head now to the right side, and if that doesn't feel good, go back to the left side. Begin to bring your hands back underneath your shoulders and lift your chest up. Slide your bolster to your right side. Bring your right forearm to the floor and use the bolster to support the side of your body as you reach your left arm over. Imagine that you're leaning back against a wall Allow your eyes to close or let your gaze soften. And create, think of the space that's being created. In order for us to bring the abundance into our lives, we must create space for it. Start to lift that left arm back up. Prop yourself up on that right elbow and come back into the center. Move your bolster over to the other side. Bring both feet back together again with the knees apart. And slide your feet out further in front of you than you normally think of in this pose. So this is Tarasana, star pose. Reach towards the tops of your feet and bring your elbows to bend outside your shins. And if you'd like to, you can grab one of your blocks and bring it behind your heels and rest your forehead on the block, if that works for you. In these forward folding poses, traditionally in yoga, we think of them as an opportunity to go inside. Think about what we need, what we want. What is it that we want to manifest? What are our desires? What are our needs? Think about all the different things that you would love to have an abundance of. And it might be chocolate chip cookies. It doesn't matter what it is. There's no criticism or judgment about what it is that you would like to have an abundance of. 
start to come back up from your star pose. Bring your feet in towards each other. Bring that right leg over the left and then take it out to the side, shifting the left shin into center, flexing that left foot. And then coming back into the center with the bolster, bringing the forearms to the floor alongside the bolster and turning your head to the right side to start. Notice how from one side to the other side, there may be some differences between the two sides. Turn your chin to the other side if you'd like to. And if it doesn't feel good, come back just to turn to the right. Begin to bring your hands back underneath your shoulders, lifting your chest up and sliding your bolster to your left side. Bring the left forearm to the floor and reach your right arm over. Once again, creating space. Do a slight rotation at the collarbone, almost as if you were leaning back against a wall. Start to lift that right arm up. Bring your left hand back to the side and move the bolster off to the side. Come to shift so that you can bring your feet together with your knees apart and come to lie down on the mat in the Supta Baddha Konasana, uh, lying down cobbler's pose might like to take your blocks and bring them just to support your legs. So even if you don't feel like you need the support, use the support so that it's an effortless pose. If it's cool in your space, you might like to bring a blanket over you. Hands can be anywhere on your body or could be alongside the Body with the palms facing up. As you hold here, notice the sensation of being in this lying down position facing up, especially after the series of poses that we did in a forward folding variation. Hold here, breathe here.
start to bring your knees back together. Move your blocks closer to you. Then extend your legs straight down the mat and prop yourself up on your elbows as if you were um, at a beach waiting to get your uh, looking at the horizon. We're going to take the first block on its flatter side lengthwise. We're going to slide that block underneath the upper mid back just at the base of the shoulder blades. So it's not very far down. It's pretty far up. We'll take the second block either on the same height or the medium height and place that underneath the back of the head for supported fish pose. Once again, you might like to have your blanket over you. We're going to do a little movement here. I'd like you to take your fingertips and make a big sort of hugging movement to bring those fingertips together. And then point those fingertips in towards you and touch them to the center of your chest onto the sternum, kind of where we often think of where our heart is. Press firmly. Feel the connection of the fingertips touching the sternum. Then inhale and open those arms back out. And then point those fingertips back in towards you, almost like you're making a heart shape with your arms. So you point them back in. And as you do this, I want you to start imagining a green mist surrounding that space that comes into the center of your chest. And as you inhale and open out, feel that green mist going down the arms and out your fingertips. Some of it goes out into the universe and some of it comes back into you. As you think about this, start to consider again some of the things that you would like to manifest of abundance in your life in the next period of time. And it's not just about a new year. And Gat is going to talk a little bit about the new moon, the full moon, excuse me, the full moon, bringing it in. Right. Taking the time to think about, I'd like to bring peace into my heart. I'd like to give out some peace into the universe. I'd like to bring joy into my heart. I'd like to take some joy and give it out to the universe. Whatever it is. Start to think of this as a as part of this abundance. When you feel like you've attracted enough, done enough, please feel free to just let your hands relax, your arms relax, either by your side or on your body somewhere. Start to bend your knees a little bit and gently roll to one side to come off of those blocks. And just take a moment here on your side. And then as you're ready, press your hands into the floor and uh, we'll get ready for uh, meditation. Uh, I'm sure God will tell us um, if there's any particular way that you'd like to be set up. I know that if you want to be sit sitting up, you might like to bring yourself closer to the wall so that the wall can support you in the meditation. Um, but I'm sure that 
pretty sure that you can also come to lie down if you prefer. Yeah. We're going to turn things over to Gott. Everybody doing okay so far? I'm going to give Gott the spotlight. <laughs> Hi. Hey. So if you didn't have a chance to uh, meet Gott before, she is been she has been teaching and doing theta meditations for over 15 years and um, really just beautiful, beautiful practices. And I will turn it over to you so you can say everything. Thank you. Thank you, Abby. So I, I just, I think it will be best for you guys to stay in the relaxed um, um, state that you're already in. Just place yourself comfortably if you need to um, uh, lower the lights around you or just put a blanket on your knees. Doesn't matter if you sit down or lay down, whatever comfortable for you. Just take a deep breath in and relax. And another slow breath in. And relax every breath you take, you're more and more relaxed and at ease. Breathe in slowly, release slowly. As you are aware of your breathing, imagine visualize lavender energy that comes from above, from the sky, from space, from the universe. And it comes down slowly, slowly. Above your head, there is a fennel. Imagine the fennel and imagine the lavender energy goes down through the fennel into your head, slowly relaxing your head, your hair, washing your head with lavender energy, goes down through your throat, your neck, Relaxing the neck and throat, down to your shoulders. You can feel how your shoulders are relaxing. Going down, lavender energy, washing your hands, your arms, your elbows. And now your hands are more relaxed and at ease goes down to your chest, your stomach, your pelvic is relaxed. And the energy goes down to your legs, your knees, washing your legs, relaxing the muscles, And it goes down to your feet and from your feet goes down to earth, deep, deep into earth. Take a deep breath in and relax. Another deep breath in and relax. Now imagine there is a form of energy, white form of energy, maybe gold, maybe pink, that comes from deep down of earth. and slowly comes up 
through all the layers, through crystal caves, through minerals and irons and vitamins, through soil and dirt, comes up, 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 into your feet, relaxing your feet, your toes, your ankles, up through your lower legs, your knees, your thighs, your pelvic is now relaxed. The energy goes up to your stomach. Relaxing the stomach. Relaxing your lower back. Imagine the energy goes up into your lungs, your chest, your rib case, pushing out all stress out of your body into the universe. And it goes up to your shoulders again, relaxing the shoulders. Up to your throat, swirls around your throat, your neck. And up into your head, your face, your ears, your head. Your eyebrows are relaxed. The little muscles around your eyes, around your mouth are relaxed and at ease. And the energy goes to your mind, pushing out all thoughts that are not needed right now. They can wait. Take a deep breath in and relax. Now the energy goes outside your head, swirls around your head and form a shape of a ball or an oval above your forehead. Imagine yourself go inside the ball. Sit yourself, place yourself inside a ball. You can see from inside out. You can breathe. In fact, you're very comfortable inside a ball. The temperature is perfect. You can see from inside out. And you feel the ball starts to lift you up. Up, 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 you're floating up, up above the ceiling, outside the building you're in, and you're in the sky floating slowly, safely, higher and higher float higher and higher in the sky. The higher you go, the more relaxed and at ease you are. Higher and higher. Higher and higher. The buildings are getting smaller and smaller, tiny lights as you go higher and higher. Up, up, up. Up, crossing the atmosphere and slowly enter space out of space. 
it's much darker but you might see lights from different directions shining lights strong lights darker lights maybe they have colors you might see gases the galaxy the milky galaxy maybe supernovas just tiny stars from all directions you're safe and sound in your ball safe and sound and you keep floating up up, up, up. breathe in Floating higher and higher through different kind of lights, darker lights and brighter lights, crossing the lights higher and higher. You might cross a different kind of energy. That is all gold. Go through the golden energy. Let it fill you with joy, with protection, with wisdom. Take a deep breath in. And relax. And you keep going up, 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 higher and higher through different dimensions of energies, different layers, different colors, the white energies. You reach an energy that is all rainbow colors. You might see geometrical shapes here. You go inside those shapes. Higher you go, up, up, up. Breathe in. Higher and higher, and from afar, you can see a very bright white energy. It's very white, but it doesn't hurt your eyes. You go closer and closer, float higher and higher, floating up. Uh, uh. When you reach this white, pure energy, you exit your ball and enter the white energy. You might see a door or a window. You just go inside, step inside white energy you can feel it all around you take a walk imagine yourself walking inside pure white energy and suddenly you can see a crystal table it's beautiful and crystal clear table and near it you can see a chair that is all crystal as well you go closer and closer sit yourself on the chair and imagine just above 
few inches above the table, there is a lavender flame, lavender energy, flames, light purple flame. Now think of all the things here you no longer wish to have in your life. Feelings, fears, relationships, whatever you think and feel you don't need anymore, you no longer wish to have, place it inside the purple flame. Take a minute, think what you don't want. And imagine yourself placing it inside the love and the flame. If you don't know what to put, just say whatever does it, that it doesn't, that doesn't serves me anymore is now being placed in a purple flame in the highest and best way for me only. Breathe in. Imagine the flames taking those emotions, those energies, those feelings and wishes. It can be materialistic things as well. Anything you don't want anymore is being consumed by this divine love and their flame. Gone. Now. Breathe in. Every breath you take, you're more relaxed the more it is. And feel light and at peace and surrounded by pure energy, the energy of all that is. Breathe in. Now look at the table and imagine there is a roll of paper, beautiful roll of paper, and near it place a pen, a crystal pen. Now think, take a minute to think of all the things that you wish to have in your life. Anything you wish to have, to feel, to be surrounded with. Imagine it, think about it, and write it down on the paper. Make a list of anything you wish to have. It can be love. 
money, a new car, a new relationship, a new friend, whatever you want, write it down. Now, if you're done with your list, look at it. Look at the things you wrote and imagine how it feels like to have any of those things. Imagine it in your mind. Imagine you have them. How does it look like? How does it feel like? Hold this image in your mind. Hold the feeling in your heart and body. Hold it. If you hold it in your mind, you will hold it in your hand. Go over your list. How does it feel to have the things in your list? Visualize it in your mind. Hold it. Breathe in and relax. Now roll the paper and put it in the purple flame. 
Let the purple flame slowly consume the list, your paper, and let it go. Just release all attachments to the list. Let it go. Trust the universe to provide and just let it go, forget about it. Stand up and walk into the wide energy away from the crystal table. Just stand inside the white energy. Let the white energy become one with your energy. Imagine it goes inside your body. Feel your body from top to toe. Imagine the white energy goes inside your mind, your spirit. Become one with all that is you. As you are part with all that is. You're part of creation, creator. You are a creator. You just created new things in your life. Breathe in. And relax. Breathe in. Now imagine yourself slowly step inside your ball of energy again. Sit yourself comfortably inside the ball, inside your vehicle. And slowly let the ball bring you down through all the layers of energies you've been through before. Going down, down, down. Slowly going down, down, down. Very relaxed and very much safe inside your ball. Floating down, down, down. Down through white energies, darker energies. Rainbow energy. Down, down, down. Now I flow through the golden energy. Invite the golden energy fills you inside your bowl. Imagine it going inside your body as well, brings you protection, wisdom into your cells, your blood, your organs. And down you go, down through space, 
release again. And into the atmosphere and down to sky, down into your city. You can see the lights of the buildings getting closer and closer. Going inside your building, inside your apartment, and inside your body, gently through your body, down into earth again. Down into earth. Imagine yourself inside a crystal cave. And here you can just take a minute to be grateful to everything you already have. Being grateful will bring you more of what you're grateful for. Take a deep breath in and come up again, up, up, up into your feet, your legs, your pelvic, torso, head, and gently place yourself around your heart. Whenever you're ready, you can open your eyes.